personal finance excel practice problem cash value insurance payment calculation get ready to get financially fit by practicing personal finance here we are in our excel worksheet if you don't have access to the excel worksheet that's okay because we'll basically build this from scratch from a blank sheet if you do have access we got three tabs down below an example tab a practice tab and a blank tab the example tab in essence being an answer key let's take a look at it now we've got the information on the left hand side calculating on the right hand side we're looking at the cash value calculation for an insurance payment the second tab the blue tab will have some pre-formatted cells so if you don't want to spend as much time formatting the cells you can work through the problem with the pre-formatted cells the third tab the blank tab will have more of a blank sheet where we're going to build everything that we're going to do the calculations on if you don't have access then you can just add this information on the left hand side and move from there note that I would add the information on the left hand side because that's good practice to kind of set up your Excel worksheets so you're pulling data from a source data and that helps you to change things up and make different projections so if you don't have this sheet you might start off by formatting the whole sheet I would select the triangle right click format the entire worksheet I usually use currency brackets and then remove the dollar sign and zero decimals I'm not going to do it now because I have the sheet and then close this then change the formatting as needed as you enter this data nothing really needs to be changed here and then we can move forward uh, with the calculations so we're going to imagine here we got a cash value insurance coverage so we're going to we got insurance coverage for a cash value and furniture is destroyed in a fire so it was insured with a cash value insurance policy so the year old of actual furniture meaning we're going to assume the furniture that was i got to interpret the the less sayings i have over here can't you write it better than that well I'm, I'm interpreting it for you it was five years old this furniture that was destroyed the cost to replace it is the four thousand five hundred the estimated life is eight years the original cost of the furniture we're going to say is four thousand dollars so the terms that we have to understand here if we're trying to think about how much the payout will be is are they going to be paying us the the actual cash value or are they going to be paying us the replacement cost because if i have furniture and i purchased it five years ago i paid four thousand dollars for it but if i want to replace the furniture now it costs me four thousand five hundred dollars so to get me back to the same point i'd have to buy this the newer furniture which would cost more than it than it did when i bought it originally also the four thousand dollar furniture that we purchased if it's five years old you would expect like most things it would deteriorate in value so is the insurance company going to give me the replacement cost to get me the new furniture to get up to date or are they going to try to give me the cost or the value of the actual furniture we would like the replacement cost so they give us the 4500 but if i have that kind of policy it probably is going to cost more on the premium side of things they're going to tell us here that they're giving us the replacement cost so they're going to give us some amount of money that they think is the value of the furniture and then i'm going to have to put in the difference if i want to get myself back to the same point to buy the new furniture at the 4500 so we got to understand that difference between actual cash value and replacement cost we're talking replacement cost here so let's build a table i'm going to i'm going to make this a little bit wider by putting my cursor in between here and then widening this out holding down left i'm going to type in here this is going to be the insurance let's say payment and i'm going to say brackets actual cash value and brackets now i'm not going to make this cell as wide as that because i'm not going to put that actual cash value on the bottom so i'm going to make it like maybe like that wide like right there and then i'm going to make this black and black and white for our header let's make it wide enough so two cells cover that like right there and then i'm going to make this black and white up top and that's what i do for the header so i'm in the home tab font group making it black and white header format that's the header format this is the head of stuff header formats black and white and then I'm going to say we're going to start with the cost to replace it so I'm basically doing a, a depreciation calculation note that the depreciation calculation is a little bit different than you might see if you're doing this from a an accounting standpoint where we would start with the original cost allocating the cost over the useful life here we're going to try to start from the replacement cost and then and then uh, depreciate it down to after, for the five years that have passed 
little bit different. Maybe I'll do a comparison just so you can see the difference. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with the replacement cost and say there's the 4,500. Notice I'm saying equals and I'm pointing to the source data because that's how you want to set up your worksheets generally. And then I'm going to say the estimated life. I'm just going to do a straight year, straight line depreciation from there. This is if you know depreciation, this is going to be where we're at now. This is going to be eight years. I'm going to put an underline here. I'm going to say font group underline it. And this is going to be, I'm going to call this the depreciation per year or the decline in value per year, whatever you want to call it. This is going to be equal to the 4,500 divided by eight. So that means we're going to assume that if it declined in value evenly over what we assume the life to be eight years, it would decline in value 563 per year. And we have this piece of property for five years. So that means that uh, I'm going to say this is how many years old it is. Years old of actual furniture. The years old, it was five years old. So if it was five years old, then we have, we have the depreciation, total depreciation or the accumulated depreciation, if you want to use that kind of terminology, would be the 563 about, this could be rounded times five. So we've got the 2813 that has been depreciated. So the original, so the replacement cost 4,500 minus the 2813. So this is going to be then the insurance payment that we would expect based on this calculation, the 4,500 minus the 2813, which is a little depressing because we're like, I need to buy a new couch and it costs 4,500 and you're giving me 1,688. My couch burnt down. What am I supposed to replace it with? Like a, a bench? You want me to buy a bench or something? No, we're gonna have to, because the couch was old. You could buy a used couch, but that's gross. I don't want to use. So, right, that's going to be the difference between the replacement cost and the, and the. So there we go. I'm going to go up to here. Let's put an underline. Let's make this blue and bordered as is our custom font group. Let's put some borders around it. Let's make it blue. Now we can do this calculation in, a, in another way. Let's just do it in another way. So I'm going to make a skinny F so we can do a calculation next to it. So I'm going to make, I'm going to take skinny C here. It's see how it's skinny. I'm going to go to the home tab, clipboard, format, paint it, and then make a skinny F, skinny F. And then let's, I'm going to hide from C to F. So I got some room, putting my cursor on C, rolling on over to E, C, E. It's right there. See it? C, E. Right click. I'm going to right click and hide that stuff. So now let's do the same thing in another calculation. So the same kind of calculation, but I'll do it differently. Insurance, payment, pay meant and so actual cash value brackets i'm going to widen the cell just like we did before to like right there so it covers it with two cells so it's like right there so it's not hanging over two cells make that black and white like we did before home tab and uh home tab font black and white black and white Okay, so then we're going to say the re we're going to start with the replacement of co cost again, just like we did before. This is where the difference is between accounting, because in accounting we'd be using the OG cost, the original cost, in other words, which you say OG is the cool way you say original. So then, or at least it used to be like 20 years ago. I don't know what people say now. Anyways, whatever. So we're going to say the ratio is going to be, I'm going to call it the years remaining, years remaining. And that it's if it was if it was an eight year life and five had been expired, I'm just going to do a bit of subtraction. We're going to say this is going to be eight minus the five. That's going to give us our three years, three years here. And I'm going to compare that then to the useful life estimated life, which is eight. There's there's the ratio. I'm going to move this four thousand five hundred to the outside because I'm going to make this like a sub calculation. So I'm going to say control X on this one and I'm just going to move it control V right there. Move it on over, move it on over. And then we're going to say ratio outside. Let's put this in the outside. This is going to be our division. This is the three divided by the eight, three over eight. Let's make that a percent so we can see some numbers here. Home tab number group percentifying it, not a word, but I'm making it, I'm making it a word. 
and then decimalizing it as well so we can see some stuff. And then I'm, let's go and then make this an indentation. So I'm gonna select these three and go up top, do some indentation because we've got a subcategory, home tab alignment, indent, and then double indent right there. Up, oh, double done, double indent done. And then let's put an underline here, font group underline, and this is gonna be then the insurance payment. And I'm not gonna put that actual cash value calculate this one 4,500 times the 37.5% and we get another calculation in a similar way a little bit shorter of a calculation style underline let's put a, some stuff here and let's make it blue and bordered blue and bordered font group uh, blue and I'm yeah blue that was the border that's not blue that was the border border blue now let's compare that to the to the to what we would do under a under a uh, system where we're doing accounting style system. So I'm going to select from B to G, bug, and I'm going to right click and and unhide unhide those cells, and let's do the same thing and ca calculate accounting depreciation, or let's say accounting let's say book value calculation. So meaning what would be the value of it from an accounting term and if I used straight line depreciation, which would be a similar calculation. So I'm going to make this black and white. Let's go up top and say, let's make this black and white up top. So in this case, the only difference is I'm going to, I'm going to do the whole thing, but I'm going to start with the original cost because on, on accounting, we take the original cost and we allocate it over the useful life so that we, so we get the expense of the original cost over when we when we used it so it's a little that's where the difference is going to lie so it would be this and then i could copy the rest of it i'm just going to say this equals the stuff above and i'm just going to copy that down to do this quick like quickly like and so there it is and then i'm going to say i could copy this above so the estimated useful life is still eight and then I'm not going to copy the total, obviously. We're going to do the actual calculation down here. Let's underline it. And so this would be equal to the 4,000 divided by 8. So that's a bit different. 500 depreciation per year as opposed to the 563 because we bought it for 4,000, not the replacement cost. And then the years old of the furniture, that's going to be 5, just like it was before because we had that couch or whatever it is for 5 years. And, and it's getting kind of old. We, we were pretty... We weren't nice to our couch you know it's kind of it's showing its age there it's not it's not the years it's the mileage that's what indiana jones said okay so this is going to be the 500 times five so there's the 2500 depreciation so we would have 4000 original cost minus the 2500 we got the 1005 let's put an underline here under the accounting method as opposed to up top you could kind of simplify that if it was straight line to something like this, which might be a little bit shorter. It's actually, you know, somewhat same calculation, but you could do this ratio kind of in one step, really. So I could say this is going to be equaling this up. Well, this is going to be equaling this. And let's make that black and white here. And then I'll just copy it down. We'll say border black and white. I don't, I'm, you're saying the wrong stuff. You're saying stuff and you're doing different stuff. I know. Do what I do, not what I say. The replacement cost. No, this is going to be the original cost. That's the difference. That's the difference. 4,000. And then we've got a ratio. This is where it's going to be the same. So I'll just copy the thing above it. And I'll just copy it down. Let's just take, grab the fill handle, grab that and drag it down. And let's do some estimations here or indentations. Home tab alignment indent you could also copy the formatting like i might just say why don't i just copy the formatting up top i'll just take this whole thing home tab clipboard paint brushy it and just put the whole formatting right there then you get the indentations all at the same time why are you doing it why are you doing it the long long way because i it's practice because i like the, i was trying to get people to practice so we're going to say the years remaining are th are three and that calculation was let's just do that again so we could see it if the total years are eight and five have passed we got three that's where the three comes from useful life was eight we'll put the underline i don't have to underline it because i copied the formatting three over eight 
there's our 37.5 percent if we take that 4,000 times that percent we get to the 1,500 again as opposed to the 1,688 given the fact that we have the different original number original cost versus the replacement cost let's copy the formatting on this one this time and format paint brushy it and paint that blue paint right there boom get that nice blue let's put some double underlines under this one that'll make it look nicer double underlines font group font underline double check the spelling review it does the spelling look okay original that's in the source data is not even right for crying out loud actual 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 okay all right i see what you're saying on that spelling per i won't argue with it so there we go